hey, this is Jordan Sutherland, and I'm gonna give you guys some inside advice on the dunk world and how it kind of works. I've been professionally dunking since 2014, so this is, in August, it will be my fifth year of being a professional dunker. And the biggest challenge for some people is, you do get a little bit of a celebrity in the dunk game, the higher you climb up the charts or the ladder, as they say, and the celebrity can get to your head, especially if you're a guy like me or some other guys that really didn't come from anything. And to be as successful as we are, like, I didn't play basketball in high school, so I never thought I would be successful in basketball. It's easy to feel like you're the Michael Jordan of the dunk world once you get to a certain level. But it, as long as you keep yourself humble, you can keep progressing in the game. And that's what also keeps the dunk game progressing because it's not a lot of guys trying to step on each other's toes to reach the highest level of success. Like I wanna push everybody in the dunk game. I said that from day one, whether it's me doing crazy dunks and it makes people feel like they can try their crazier dunks in contests or things like that. It's like when we first started watching FIBA back in the day and we saw Lee Pet going against Jordan Kilgannon, that's when they were pulling out 540s, Tetrises, behind the back Scorpions. They were trying new dunks, and that's what helped push the dunk game to a higher level. And now I feel like it's kind of watered down. It's up to the younger guys like me and Isaiah, like build that excitement back up. To create new dunks and come up with new ideas can tie into a lot of things. It can tie into social media or seeing one of uh, your favorite dunkers do something new and they might have done it off two feet and you're a one foot jumper like myself and you want to see if you can do it off one foot. You can sit down and you're watching one of your dunks and you'd be like, hey, if I add this, then that's a new dunk. So it's many ways to come up with dunks, but you always want to get to the point where you're like, all right, what can I do next? Like, how can I push myself, therefore pushing the next person? before Jordan Kilgannon turned around and called it a crown and put both arms, I didn't think it was possible. So it's other people always pushing you. That's what I love about the dunk game. The regular basketball, the competition is you just want to be the best. And it's the same with dunking, but you want to also produce the best content. You want to have the best dunks. You want to push the game forward. Just Jordan, USA, Ukraine, the Mac, World Cup, FIBA, 3x3, Miller, Woo! Ukraine. There's no hate or animosity amongst dunkers. We cheer for each other. It's like how the NBA is now. Like you see guys like Carmelo, Westbrook, Chris Paul, all those guys are friends. Now, as we realize if we push each other forward, that progresses it for more opportunities as far as like outside of contests, we can do shows, halftime shows, you can do gigs, we can go talk to kids, we can do interviews that can get posted on YouTube where people get inspired by what we say in our stories. So dunking opens a lot of doors for people if we don't feel like we gotta fight each other for the top spot because we're all top dunkers. Mental strength is very important. I separate mental and physical strength because it's times where my body has given out in a dunk session, but my mind is like, make this dunk, keep going, keep pushing, I'm here. And I'm not gonna lose this opportunity because of a little like tic-tac injury right then and there. So for an example, I missed my behind the back dunk in my first three contests and I didn't want to do it anymore. And then my first contest in Europe, I did it, made it first try and won because I wasn't scared of failing. You can't get in your own head in anything you want to do, like outside of basketball, like whatever you want to do, you have to have that focus and determination. Like I started off way skinnier than this. I wasn't dunking as hard, jumping as high, but my mental strength is what helped me push the physical limits of my body. A great dunk consists of these things. Style, power, creativity, hang time. You got a guy like me who's one foot and a guy like Smooth and a guy like Kristaps. Smooth doesn't jump as high as me, but he's very creative and technical and he, he flushes his dunks. So that's where he gets his bonus from. 
Me, I get height and creativity, so I'm jumping with my head at the rim doing some of the crazy dunks. Kristaps is right in the middle. He doesn't jump as high as me or as low as smooth, but he has power. So if you have those things and you put those into your dunks, it can consist of a great dunk. Management and dunking and the dunking business has grown so much. I kind of compare the dunk game to rapping. As far as you can be an independent artist and rap and you can be an independent dunker to where you have people call you that are agents, but they're not your agents. They call you and book you for shows. But now it's such an entrepreneurial business. You can do vertical programs and get money. You can just talk to people. People just want to talk to you and they'll pay you. I'm a track coach and basketball coach now. I, I do that for free. When it comes to actually dunking in contests and winning the money, that's not as important to me personally anymore. Like last year when I did Japan FIBA, I could have did a regular dunk for my final dunk and I would have won the money, but I wanted to do a specific dunk that I had in my head that I hadn't done in a contest yet and I did that on my third attempt and made it and ended up winning. The money's not important because the money comes with doing what you love. I love what I'm doing in Duncan. I love how I can inspire kids and inspire people all over the world. And the money is, it is gonna come with that. As long as you keep doing what you're doing, keeping your body healthy, keep putting the right message out there and keep being a positive person, you're gonna get positive energy back. And that's how you progress as a person. It's more than being the best dunker. It's about, can you be the best person? And then everything else will follow after that.